So what do we do? Do we start off with happy birthday to Nick? <laughs> happy birthday. It's go. his birthday today. Happy birthday. He's 29 and holding. Yeah. He's a little younger than I am. Yeah. I, I mean, I know he looks a little older, but that's okay. He's, he's much, much younger. Um, I've had you on, Nick. We were just, we were just talking, you know, behind the scenes we talk on YouTube channel. We have a great time, by the way. Yeah. And you were saying that it was, you've been on about nine times on my show. He's always on my, he's always sort of floating in somewhere with something new. Yeah, since 2016, when I first came on with the fedora hat. The f yeah. Jason Bourne was my first interview. I did Jason Bourne. So since Jason Bourne, I've been on his show at least almost nine times. Nine times. Two years. Two this years. Is the, this is the third year. This is yeah. This is my. I was just saying before. This is my third year down at the Pepper Mill. I love the Pepper Mill. And, and that's when you were over. I was over in that over corner. There. And it's better hair because I seem yeah, to have more room. Hair. The angle's much nicer. It seems to look much better. I don't know. So I, I want. By to the way, let's get your opinion out there. Don't forget to visit Vegas Live with me on yeah. on Facebook, on Instagram, yeah. on. YouTube. YouTube, YouTube and wherever on Twitter and wherever else you can find me because I seem to be all over the place. Yeah, but I do want to say say what? Thank you and oh. I appreciate you. You've helped my career. You've helped jump started from through that. I mean, with your help is expanded. That's oh, isn't so that I, isn't I, that one? Because that's the purpose it. of our show. It's it like is. I just had the four people on, the Tom it Jones is. and all these different yeah, people, it, it um, Tina Turner, to help them promote what they're doing and how they're doing, and actually to let Vegas know that there are people that live here that right. are in the business. They just don't come in for two or three weeks and then right, leave. Right. You know, you come in and you actually live here. Yeah, and, and uh, it, it means a lot to me. Oh, isn't um, that nice? I love that. everything I've done, you interviewed me and it's helped my career people start to know my name I've connected with a lot of people oh, since isn't party, that so that I, is amazing you know it's funny you should say that I had a guy on um, um, Ray um, Bailey I think what was that guy's name uh, Lynn Ray right Jay. Jay Jay Butler had Jay Butler on he flew in purposely to be on the show okay from Texas and he just got a radio show because of the show he was on. And he sent them the information of the show he was on, which was my show, and they booked him, so they're gonna interview him. And he's so wow. excited, so through that, he's got another interview for his book. And they're, so now, he, and he's also, I think, picked up a manager, because now she sees that he's doing something, yeah. just like you were just saying. So when you yeah, kind of come crazy. on, it's sort of, you know, I never think of that way, because I always think I'm, I'm helping you to get, you know, out there. Well, and I just yeah. want people to know who, well, what yeah, we have in this you're, town. You're, what you're doing in your introducing us to your world. Yeah, my world. Yeah, I got a pretty big world out there. And as, as a Vegas act, I'll become an actor. I appreciate it because it's expanded along with everybody else that's part of my life. Absolutely, my absolutely. And every time I came on, I've always had something new, and now I have something. So now we got something more. <laughs> what is this I now? Have something new. I what have is this? My. Um, I am a part of Vice Squad. Vice Squad. Now, Vice Squad is like. Um, it's a new up and coming crime TV show that deals with the gritty part of crime, like human trafficking. And a lot of human trafficking going on. A lot of movies coming out about human trafficking, and I agree with it. And Kevin Kellum is the main guy, and also Mark Justice is a part of it. Wow. That's the only reason why I got on because Mark Justice is a part of well, it. Mark Justice. Mark right. Justice. So shout out, shout out to Mark, Mark Justice. Justice. I love this guy. So, he knows I love him right, too. So well, I don't love, love him. I mean, right. I love him as a person, as so, an actor. Right. So the Vice Squad franchise, you have um, Los Angeles, you have New York, you have Seattle, you have. Hey, maybe Dallas. I can get on that show. Maybe I could be yeah. part of something. Can yeah, I be? Las a, Vegas, I could be an FBI something. You New know. York. Don't forget, guys. I had a children's show well, from, from, from 12 to 18 for 16 years. Wow. I had a show where I dealt with the younger generation. Right. And human trafficking is a lot of, lot of that's what it is. And they're, and they're dealing with the real great. It's going to be like the gritty part. And my character, um, he's kind of like the good guy with the bad boy attitude. And well, that's, def I'm, that's definitely Nick. Yeah, is so it? Um, no, he's my, a good my guy. My character is, uh, is um, Julio Robinson, which is... Fire Squad Internal Affairs. <laughs> okay. So I'm the good guy with the bad boy attitude. The good guy, but you so got that cocky. Vi you got that, a, you got that cocky that's, attitude. That's Vice Squad, Las Vegas. You know, I got the tattoos and all that stuff. So you know. I didn't know you had tattoos. Yeah, I got a tattoo. I got my birthday. My birthday is 9/11. Oh wow! And I, and I have the flame. So yeah. Your birthday is 9/11. 9/11, 69. Well, that's right today. Yeah. That's oh that's my today. goodness.
That's, that's Birthdays amazing. Birthdays 9-11-69. It's funny when you talk about 9-11, um, I just put on, on Facebook, and I'm going to put it on other things, um, I did an interview with, with where the plane went into the Pentagon on, on one of those, um, you know, they have rings. They had, I think yeah. it's four rings going in on one of them, and one of the officers, they had 30 people there, and he was the only survivor in that particular group of the and 30 what, people. See, what's so crazy about that, on that day I was in Tampa, Florida, um, I was working telemarketing, came in a day, regular day, and my, my boss had happy birthday Nick on the board, and we started doing the automated dialing, because you know how the machines come up with different yeah, cities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're sitting there, and then like we hear the news, the first plane hits at 9.10. Yes. So everybody's looking around, and then um, and 9.11, the second plane hit, and like immediately everybody turned and looked at me because they knew it was my birthday. Oh. And then the dollar kept coming up, New York. So I'm hearing people in my ear screaming oh. bloody murder, like like fire. And it's like, I kept trying to push, push, they kept coming up, New York, New York, New York, and I'm freaking out. Of course. And so my boss walks over to me, she's like, Nick, you can go home. And I'm, I'm completely- Oblivious, like, you don't- Oblivious. Yeah, I'm of like, what's going like on. Gone. And then the crazy part is- It's my birthday and I gotta go home yeah, alone? The crazy part, they trained at MacDill Air Force Base in Tampa. That's what my mom oh, called oh freaking God. out, because they literally trained in They trained them in Tampa. In MacDill Air Force Base. I'm yeah. like, oh. But, I think they also trained some of them here in, uh, not here, in California right. as well. I so, I mean, it, the birthday means a lot to me, and that's why with the, with the 9-11, and I have the, like, the, 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 axe, the flames, yeah, out, of the, the flames. out of the flames. I mean, I represent. No, yeah, it is. It is, and I, I haven't sort of mentioned it, but I did put this interview I had up. I put it up on Facebook, and it, it's such a sad day. And I think the, the I think the whole confusion of America, of the world, actually, is how do we deal with it? How do we sort of? Um, are you having problems there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I have problems. I'm having difficult difficulties. Difficulties. He's having difficulties. He's doing his That's own job. Okay. But I think you know a lot of us don't quite know how to deal with today. But I think the only thing we can really do is just to have sympathy for all the um, yeah, survivors but, um, and all the people that and the families and, right. and everybody out there and just to give our condolences and to you know just just keep fighting on and, and just keep positive and it's just something that I don't think any of us will no, ever I ever mean, forget just, it, you certainly won't forget because it's my birthday but I'm, oh. I'm blessed to still be here and to be 49 but yeah. I'm still doing a lot of stuff. You know, so what's I, new coming up? Let's I have the Vice Squad. I have a film called Conspiracy Child. Okay. And it's a story. It's like the Hebrew. It's about the gods. It's about falling angels. Oh, and how beautiful. And Kristen Anderson and um, Michelle Tipton are the people behind it. Behind so, it. Okay. Um, I'm kind of like, again, I'm one of the fallen angels, but I'm a bad Bad He's God a bad angel. falling angel. It's like a, it's like a demon, but I'm, I'm one of the fallen angels, and that's yes. going to be filmed in L.A. and Vegas. Okay. Um, it's going to be a feature film, a six-hour mini series, and also a final film. So it's going to be a big. So it's going to be a long. It's going to be it's going to be a studio, a big studio production yeah. like the Red yeah. Carpet L.A. It's going to yeah. be L.A. Vegas. Awesome, awesome. Um, I have the Vanilla Event, which is by Dustin Ross. Okay. And. Wow. I'll He's play, dropping some names I'll, here, isn't he? I play a priest. You play... <laughs> I play a, Sorry, I play shouldn't a, really laugh, should I? Go ahead. See, I, I play a Catholic priest. Okay. And then... Um, well, I can see you having that solemn face on and sort of, you know... Yeah. Do you, do you feel worthy of play, playing a priest? It's I mean, gonna, do you it, have to it, feel it, worthy? It's going to be... A, you're a pretty good role, guy. But you're, I can, I can you're, you're a pretty good guy, though, aren't you? You know right from wrong, don't you? Yeah, there you and, go. That's and all you I have, have to do. Um, um, my first film, which I'm actually the lead character, called Justice by Blood, which is going to be filmed next year. Justice by Blood. It's actually, the character's name is actually Detective Nick Payne. It's my character. That's your, uh, so your real name is Real being, name, yeah. Is that a good idea or <laughs> not? Yeah. I don't know. But, I mean, that, and I have so many more, but those are the main things. But those are the main and things. And I have the bread of wickedness coming yeah. out. Philip Tricky and also Ben Stober is a part ben of it. Stober, so he's part of Bob Vegas, Ben is lovely. Jill he was just Frater. on. Yeah, yeah. So I have a lot of films You coming. have a lot of stuff happening. Ending, 
2018 going into 19 yeah. is our you're, huge you're, you've list. Really, you know, when I first interviewed you and you were trying to get these little bit parts and this and that and all these little things, and now all of a sudden you've got all these beautiful parts. But what I can truly say to any actor out there, male or female, is you've got to have patience, but you've got to be on top of it. And you, you've got, don't be afraid to take a smaller part than another part. Because right. a lot of people say, well, I don't want to take an extra part. Or I don't. But at least if you've got, if, you're, if you take an extra part, at least you're on set. Well, yeah. And you've got a chance to actually show off a little bit of what you might be. Your character. And, you know. and I've, I've grown, I, I mean, I still do the background, I still do the extra, but now I'm starting to do... Feature parts uh, feature, and parts and also and things. I'm actually getting ready to do another film by Miss Michelle Boykin. It's called Crystal. Uh -huh. So we've been friends for like since 2016 and we officially met a couple weeks ago face to face and now I'm a part of her film, Crystal, and then I got other films. Did she fall in love with you? Well, she's been a she good friend. Her. She's been a good friend of mine and we actually have the same last name, Payne. Like, so, so two pains together. Right. So I get to be Make a it part feel of good. her film. <laughs> so yeah, I, have a, I have a lot of films coming up. You do. That's Isn't going it to amazing? go carry into 2019. I'm just so proud of you. I'm, I'm so proud of Nick, Nick Payne, and of what he's done, how he's climbed the ladder, and what he's doing, and where he's going. How can people reach you to get them in the lead part for their well, movie? Well, I have, have a new actor page, which is Nick Payne Actor. I have my Facebook, Nick Payne. I have my Instagram, Nick Nack 6933 so that's you can get a contact with me all over so yeah. you can find nick payne anyway absolutely amazing las vegas you're staying in vegas right yes. Can you? yeah 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 it's a good idea because the film industry is getting really really big here anyway so yeah. stay don't don't start moving out because now it's the, the, the business is coming here right um we shall be right right back with another guest we apparently have one more guest to go and um we'll be right back you're amazing take care